Hi there, this is Lynn Allen. Welcome to another AutoCAD tip courtesy of Catalyst Magazine. I am coming to you from Phoenix, Arizona, where it is hot, hot, hot. So I'm gonna share with you a hot tip today. It has to do with creating viewports in paper space. All right, so I've had a few people ask for this. This is for those of you who aren't experienced viewport creators. You know who you are. I'm gonna show you how to do it the right way because, well, we don't wanna learn to do it the wrong way. Okay, and a couple of tips as well, even for those of you who are experienced at the world of creating viewports in paper space. All right, so here I have my model. I drew it, you know, one-to-one, -one, and what I want to do is I want to create a sheet, right? And I want to bring this model in at a specific scale, maybe put a title block on it so that I can ideally print it. All right, so I'm going to go over to a layout, and I already have one set up, but you could just click on the plus symbol to create a new layout. I'm gonna come over here, it's empty. There's no viewports in it, nothing up my sleeve, completely empty, and uh, I want to create a viewport. Now, the first thing you wanna do is you wanna make sure you have a layer for your viewports. Don't get clever and put it on the def points layer because that can go badly at some point in time. And go smack your friend who told you to do that, all right, because I know somebody probably did. <laughs> Just make your own layer for your viewports. I have a viewports layer. Let me take you into the layer dialog box and you will see here that this viewports layer, it doesn't matter what color it is, pick your favorite color, because you're gonna tell it you don't want it to ever plot. All right, you don't want it to ever plot. So it doesn't matter what color it is, whatever color makes you happy. Unless for some reason you want your viewports to plot, that's up to you, I'm not sure why. There's some instances, I guess, where that would be the case. All right, so I'm gonna go into the M view command very simple. You could also get to it from the ribbon. I'm going to misbehave right now. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to start off by drawing a rectangle. That's the way most of us create our viewports with rectangle. And there I happen to have my model. You can see through the viewport into the model. All right, what scale factor is that? I have no idea because it's random. It just basically did a zoom extends in that viewport. All right, so let me just go ahead and click on this viewport. And if I look down on the status bar, it tells me this bizarre scale factor. Do not leave it that way. <laughs> it's basically scale to fit, right? So I'm gonna click on this arrow and I'm gonna give it the scale factor that I want. I would like that to be 1 32nd of an inch equals a foot, why not? S and R imperial units here in the US, right? Okay, so it modified that a little bit. You might have seen it zoomed out just a little bit. Okay, now the problem is, if I come in here and I zoom, I just messed up my scale factor. All right, so we need to, let's undo that. Let's get that back the way it's supposed to be. We need to lock that baby up, right? So you need to click on that viewport and you need to lock it, lock that baby down so that you can come in here, you can zoom to your heart's content, nothing bad will happen. You don't want anyone else to get in here and mess it up either, okay? So you wanna lock that baby up. Now, if I go to print, do a quick little preview, you will see that I'm not lying to you, that in fact, that viewport is not printing, correct? All right, you don't see it, it's not there, just in case you didn't believe me. Okay, what else can you do? Well, let's cancel that. You can, you know, draw objects as well. I could draw, you could, you could make a viewport out of a closed object. I'll just draw a really fast little circle. I can go back into M view from the command line because I'm badly behaved. Go into objects, select that and you'll see that it will take that viewport and it'll clip it and put it in to that circle or you know, pick your close object of choice. And then I'm gonna show you one last tip here because I know you've all run into this. I'm gonna do an, an M view. I'm gonna make a little tiny one inside of this viewport and I'm gonna share with you that it's very difficult when you have a viewport inside of another viewport to get to it. You've all been there. You experienced viewport people that have still hung in here through this entire tip. All right, so I'm gonna give you a great tip, you guys. All right, the problem is, you know, I try to click in here and it's like, I can't see it, I can't get into it. You can click on it, but it won't let you zoom in there. It's very meticulous. When you go to zoom, it's gonna zoom this guy here, which is a problem. Pay no attention to that note about my display driver. <laughs> So here's my tip to you. Get inside of any viewport, do control R, and it will toggle you through all of the different viewports. If you've had this problem in the past, control R is gonna send all of your viewport worries away. You can get inside of a viewport, inside of a viewport, inside of a viewport, inside of another viewport with control R, which incidentally used to be control V until paste came along and messed that all up. 
So they had to switch it to control R. In fact, there was a whole release in there where there you couldn't do it until they figured out what to do. <laughs> anyway, all right, so there's some viewport, paper space viewport tips for you. I hope you enjoyed that, and I'll see you back here in two more weeks. Well, not here because it's too hot here in Phoenix. Hopefully, I'll be someplace cooler. Take care.